The OAO, Geraldo Rivera, joins us with some big announcement. What is it? Oh, look at that head of hair. What a mane. The mustache oh. is not real. <laughs> I knew it was fake. I knew it was fake. I pulled on that mustache once. I don't know what happened because he knocked me out. I know. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? Delighted I'm doing to well. Any time here spent with you is good. Nation. So Eddie, what's you, the big announcement? What's happening? About you. I am I am here. We are officially colleagues, aside from being a uh, longtime friends. We are working together here at News Nation. We are now in this uh, crusade to bring an alternative voice uh, to the nation. I'm going to be a correspondent at large, which means I'll both do reporting and appear. And, and uh, as uh, our former friend and colleague, our, our present friend and former colleague uh, Bill O'Reilly uh, says, we'll be here to bloviate. Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be fun. I'm I'm honored uh, to have the opportunity. I I and you and I shoulder to shoulder again as we were uh, lie on uh, 25 years ago. So it's uh, it's delightful. I'm very happy. Erica is upstairs. She's happy too. So here we are. Well, for me, this is just a gift. It's just a joy. You got me into this business, um, and uh, to to be here with you, it's such a great benefit to the audience. It's definitely a benefit to me. You and O'Reilly uh, would be a duo. I would call you guys yuck and yum. Uh, he would be yuck for sure. <laughs> All right, the people want to hear from you. Uh, it's great to have you here. Congratulations to News Nation uh, for adding somebody so formidable, uh, so experienced, uh, with so much to offer. So, Dusty, who do you have? And well, don't butter up Geraldo. What? What did you say? I know you want to butter Dusty. him up. I know I you do. want to work with Geraldo, Listen, not me. It's not happening. I come from the talk show world. Shout out to Richard Bay. Geraldo knows who I'm talking about. That's where I come from. So Absolutely. I've been a big fan. And um, we're thrilled. The staff is thrilled. They were, like, very excited about you um, being a permanent around here. So, so welcome. But let's go to Denise from Connecticut. Denise, what's your question for the man? Hi, Chris. Hi, Geraldo. Man, when I saw my two favorite Hi, journalists Denise. on split screen, I just had a call and give you a shout out. Um, Geraldo, a little bit of Thank nostalgia. You. I saw you at CBS Studios back in 92, and your featured guest was Cesar Chavez. And uh, the topic was the danger of pesticides. It was so informative and really just it was humane. It was phenomenal. And um, what are you most looking forward to covering at News Nation? Let me briefly say that Cesar Chavez, the president of the United Farm Workers, was uh, not only a civil rights icon, a real hero to me. Uh, he gave a voice to the voiceless, the people who were being, at the time, uh, exploited. And uh, the pesticides were a real, real problem. That talk show had kind of a reputation for uh, sometimes being flamboyant and burlesque, but it really, at other times, was a, a, a show that really accomplished a goal, really shined a light on, on stories that needed, uh, needed attention. Uh, you know, what I will cover, this is going to be a crazy year. This is going to be a year, uh, this election cycle, with all the lawsuits and so forth going forward. I am vowed uh, several things. Number one, I will work as hard as I can to convince people not to vote for Donald Trump. I think that he has uh, forfeited his right to be president by his actions on January 6th. But on the other hand, I think that he deserves the right to run for president. And all of these efforts to block him using the courts, I think, are really, really unfair. The Colorado case to take him off the ballot, uh, even the, uh, the case where he claims immunity. He deserves a fair shake, just like everybody else. I don't think any of these lawsuits ultimately will be successful. I want this to be a, 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 fair, a fair fight uh, between, uh, I guess, between President Biden and former President Trump but not with lawyers and not in all the other nonsense to keep him off the ballot. I, I think that that stuff deserves someone like Chris and me from the militant middle. The, the, the middle of the road used to be just roadkill. But now the middle of the road, we, we need most people, I think, are people who want fairness. And that's what we're going to work to bring you. And that's why I'm proud to be here, Denise.
I still think it's a beautiful answer. I still think I have some uh, tire treads across my back, but I'm glad to be up on my feet. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.